Hello, this is Jeffrey Tapertiller. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. This YouTube channel is dedicated to leadership topics, IT leadership topics, and IT service management leadership topics. Today's video is the 10th and last in our series on how to document an ITIL process. We've enjoyed making this series and hope you'll look around at the other videos and offer feedback, whether in this series or some of our other hundreds of videos. So today's topic is a reminder. If you have documented a process, you, you understand this, the need for it, because well, this, the, today's topic is one that if you fail to do this step, invariably you'll have to go back and do this step. It's just the way it is. Nobody will make you, but you'll desire to do so. And what is it? It is to create a glossary of terms for all your processes and use the same glossary in all the process documentation. We cover this in another video, but feel this step is very essential for success because it puts your users, your business customers, and all of your process people with the same terminology. Doesn't that sound great? It is. Because it's horrible when we use two terms by two different people to mean the same thing, or one term by two different people that mean different things. We've all been there, and it gets ugly, right? If people don't, don't distinguish the difference between an incident and an event on security, don't you think we care? Security event, security incident, same with our or non-security CIs, same exact thing. And in addition, this glossary needs to include all abbreviations. If we use I and C, we need to make sure we, that means an incident, right? I know it, it seems common sense, but we need to make sure all of this is defined and it's been communicated so everybody has the same common understanding. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on this series and on our YouTube channel and hope you'll look around at some of our other videos. Please like or share this video, subscribe to our channel, leave me feedback. I'd love to hear from you and I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.